if he kept his word on coming to save us in the first advent, you can count on him to keep his word to come again for the second advent. I don't believe that Joseph and Mary knew that all the suffering, inconvenience, and discomfort that was brought on by the decree of Caesar would be the sovereign hand of a loving God who was bringing about his plan to save the world. At least not at that moment they didn't know. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. This Christmas, you may be going through a tough time in your life. Things may not be working the way you'd like. You may not understand why. But believe me, God is working all things together for your good. He's positioning you in a place to see His provision. His divine steps for your life have been laid out, even if you can't see them. Imagine if Joseph and Mary decided not to go. What if they decided to stay home? Or maybe just stop in Jerusalem, just in case Mary went into labor. There would have been no Bethlehem, no stable, no angels, no shepherds, no baby to celebrate. But Joseph and Mary trusted their God. Though the journey was hard, they persevered. Though things didn't turn out the way they may have wanted, they moved forward. My prayer is that you would allow this Christmas to remind you to trust the Lord, to trust the process of faith. Christmas reminds us that the greatest gift was not placed under the tree, but on it. The first advent revealed a baby. The second advent will reveal our King. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests.